I went from thinking I was gonna win zero to winning over a million. Lord, bring me back, I'm ready. My first big win, it was the most magical ride I've ever had. When you win a sports bet, there's nothing better in, in the world, nothing. When I miss, I don't flinch. What you guys see now is just the beginning. I'm Marco Pomani, and this is my lucky day. I've had $6 million wins. The best one was probably the Rams future bet for the Super Bowl. I'm gonna bet the Rams to win the Super Bowl for 100,000. Winning a Super Bowl bet feels good. Winning a Super Bowl future, <laughs> that's really good. When you have something pending that long, and your friends are talking shit. You say, I told you so. I saw how the team was built and I knew they were gonna go far. And that Super Bowl was so entertaining. I went from thinking I was gonna win zero to winning over a million. Get there, Eric! Get there, Eric! Because your heart's going like this. What did I tell you? The dopamine flowing through the body is so strong. And that's why I was so hyped up. I grabbed my buddy's face. When you win a sports bet, there's nothing better in, in, in the world. Nothing. It was the most gratifying. Some million dollar wins happened quick. That one was like a six month journey. Ah. Winner, winner, number four, baby. Four times, one million, we're gonna get, we're gonna do it again next year. My name is Rosanna Pomani. I'm Marco Pomani's mom. Started in the car business when he was a year old. Left a marriage, no house, no car, and a year old baby started selling cars, worked my way up through the business, and now I'm a car dealer. I love that Marco's become his own person, beyond the car business, to be himself. Marco's been my number one fan as I went up through the business. He's a great car man, and also I support him on his betting. She didn't at first though. <laughs> I had to be a winner first. <laughs> I'm Al Pomani. I'm Al Pomani. I'm Al Pomani. And I'm Marco Pomani. My father's love for the auto business and his customers lives on. I can promise you that everyone at Al Pomani Ford is here to carry on his tradition of honesty and truly caring about our customers. I was my dad's last hope. It's like, Marco, do you want to do it? Because if you don't want to do it, we're going to have to sell each dealership to different companies and we're going to cash out. That's something that people don't know is, is I had the option to like not work ever in my life. And I said to my mom and dad, I want to, I want to be in the business. I want to expand. The way that I balance work and betting is really simple. I surrounded myself with really talented people in order for me not to have to work as hard. When I surround myself with those people, I'm able to go and follow fun stuff like betting. I'm going to stress over a game that starts at 1130 in the morning today like that. I get to have fun. I love where I'm at and I love everyone I'm surrounded by. When I'm sweating out a big bet, when I'm like going through the ups and downs, I need to make sure the least annoying people are there. Yeah, so I've been with Marco for every single one of his big wins when I'm there, he's going to win. <laughs> And uh, I got two of the most positive people next to me. They usually shade out all the haters when I'm going through one of the ups and downs of winning a bet. We get to go on these trips with him. He just won't take anything. He just wants us to be there and enjoy the victories with him. But I had a pretty big win myself. Not quite a million dollar Marco win, but it was, it was a hundred thousand dollar win. These guys are just there for me when I need them. Without good friends and without good support, you have no one to celebrate with. Today, Alp Mani is giving away a brand new Jeep Wrangler because I hit a million dollar car away. And if I win, I want you to win. Happy Thursday, it is Rolex giveaway day. His and hers, Rolex. So I'm bringing four people on the plane with me, but here's the good news. I got tickets to the game covered. I got your flight covered. If you come up to me, I'm giving you a free hundred dollars to put on the Rams for the Super Bowl. Come see me. When I'm looking at a parlay, I'm trying to find like, like two or three games that I love the most. And then I'm picking one or two of them and I'm hammering them five times the amount of the parlay I'm making. But I'm always trying to find one game that'll cover me for the parlay. Don't forget, sportsbook make the most money on parlay. Take that team that you love the most and then throw a heavy banger in there with a big parlay. That's kind of how I navigate myself. Just nail two and a half, two and a half, baby! My first big win. It was the most magical ride I've ever had. It was a 17 
compact round robin that took course over a one week span. And the last leg of it was in Cleveland. A compact round robin is, is you take as many teams as you want, three or more, and you're able to create smaller parlays within one big parlay and it eliminates your risk. If you lose one of the games, it doesn't mean that you're not gonna have a successful win. What is a round robin bet? A round robin is a fun and safer way of placing several parlay bets at once. A parlay bet is a single bet that includes multiple individual wagers that all must win for the wager to be graded as a winner. The major draw of this bet has always been a larger payout versus choosing a single team to win. For a three-team parlay, you'll need to predict the outcome of all three events to win money. Using a round robin wager, you can create all possible combinations of two team parlays, instead of creating a wager where all three events would need to be successful. You'll be creating your own cover where you'll need to have just two winners to earn some profit. Here's some tips to improve your odds. Sticking with two team parlays and not betting parlays with a high number of teams is the way to go. Even if you're betting multiple parlays, stick to two team parlays to decrease the sportsbook's advantage. Me and my friends, I chartered a jet. We got in the plane. We flew to Cleveland. I needed the Baltimore Ravens to beat the Cleveland Browns in Cleveland. I got the win on a Justin Tucker last second field goal, legitimately, with the police surrounding us because we were about to get jumped. I won seven out of seven, so seven games in a row. And one of the games was a plus 550 underdog, which in sports betting is insane to have inside of a big parlay. How are you feeling? 800 South Lake. I have built who I am by not succumbing to pressure from a cash out offer. Every cash out is in favor of the casino or Vegas, however you want to look at it. When someone offers you 750,000 to cash out, you start looking around and you're like, oh man, like which I should probably take it. That's $750,000 to just take money and stop. No more risk. Cash outs are really interesting. Every single play in a game, there's gonna be something that changes. And the algorithm built into sports betting that print out predictions. And in those predictions, they're saying, hey, if you offer him this, it's better for the sports book. But in my mind, if I take that 750, I'm giving up another 500,000. Cause typically the cash outs on a million dollar offer are 500,000 less than what I'm gonna get. And I just couldn't look at myself in the mirror or look at my wife. Cause my wife's gonna say, wow, my husband, Mr. Risk Taker, cashed out. My name is Allie Pomonti and I'm Marco Pomonti's wife. Marco and I have been together almost nine years now. Marco has always been gambling. Since the day I met him, he has loved to gamble. He'll gamble on if he can make it to dinner on time. I will bet against him for fun. So if he takes the Chicago Bulls, I'll take the Lakers. But if he loses and I win, I get a Chanel. I always joke that like everybody sees the wins, but I get to see the losses. Tell him he gets like the night he loses and that's it. After that, he's got to move on. Like, he doesn't take his wins and losses and like mesh it into our life. I try to forget my losses. Uh, I'm really good at it, clearly. Uh, I went through an instance where I, I blew through about a million bucks within like two days because I was chasing and it was a dumb move. I am number one in football betting in the country. When it comes to baseball, that's where I start to chase. That's where I start to lose my mind a little bit. My individual sport was baseball. So the fact that I'm the worst at betting baseball blows my mind. When someone asks me what makes a good sports better or how can I be successful at sports betting, it's really simple. You need to be really balanced in your life. Someone who has the peace at home, the peace at work, and not to mention peace within their body. And that's why we're here at my gym right now. Well, I currently have about $100,000 pending on bets, which I placed on the way here. Uh, I stay at peace with that, knowing that no matter what the outcome is tonight, or I'm gonna go to dinner with my wife, whether I'm winning or losing, and we're gonna have a great night. Don't bet outside of your means, because as soon as you start doing that, you're gonna change your life. The things, the decisions that you're gonna normally make, you're not gonna make anymore. Your family, your wife, your kids, everything like that should come first. The way that I've managed not chasing and the way that I've managed my bankroll is, if I lose, I do have the ability to just turn off for a day. The problem is, is, is you have to be strong enough to do it. If I can give anybody advice, if you're betting and you're losing control of your bankroll, turn off and reset your mind and make sure that you're in a comfortable spot before you restart. That very bet hit for another million dollars, thus building upon the legend of Million Dollar Marco.